connecting to terminals. On EXD enclosure units, connections to the power and control terminals must be made using AMP type 160292 ring tabs for the power and earth terminals and AMP type 34148 ring tabs for the control terminals. Refer to the wiring diagram to identify the functions of the terminals and check that the supply voltage is the same as that marked on the actuator nameplate. Remove the power and control terminal screens and begin by connecting the power cables followed by the control cables as required. Replacing terminal cover. Both red power and control terminal protective cover must be replaced prior to refitting of the electrical cover assembly. When the actuator is supplied with intrinsically safe terminal compartments, the red and blue terminal covers must be fitted to maintain certification. When all the connections are made, refit the protective covers and ensure the cover O-ring seal and spigot are in good condition and lightly greased before refitting cover. Applying electrical power. Move the actuator selector knob to the stop position. On completion of the correct assembly and electrical connection procedures, the electrical power supply can now be applied to the actuator. Note. If the unit is fitted with fail-safe capacitors, the green or red LED on the selector, depending on the mode selected, will flash until the capacitors are fully charged. Movement is not possible whilst the LED is flashing.